Okay, so here's the deal. Your boy Damian Bellino interview your girl, The Bambi, or Adiz Bambi Benson, from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 5, and it was posted on the VH1 website. If you want to read the whole interview, you can click the link below, visit my blog, the whole damn thing is there. She talked about a lot of different things. She talked about the fight with Jessica Dime and whatnot, where they were posting guns on Instagram. You can go ahead and check that video that I made about that particular part of the interview. It's on my blog, and it's on, you know, on YouTube and whatnot, so... But here's the deal. So Damien talked to your girl Bambi, little Scrappy's gorgeous fiance, about the whole tranny gate thing. You know, when she got into the argument with D. Smith and D. Smith said that Bambi is a tranny, even though D. Smith is an actual real tranny. Now, of course, Bambi is a real woman. She even suffered a miscarriage on TV. She's definitely a woman. Very, very, very good looking woman, might I add. So. Shout out to Scrappy for snatching her up off the market because uh, I was about to fizz naive. If you didn't do it, nah, let me stop. <laughs> nah, she, she's out of my league. But that's a whole other story. I stick to the crack as I'm used to. Anyways, so your boy Damien said to Bambi, and I quote, So what happened between you and Betty and D. Smith? Did it come out of nowhere? Referring to Betty Idol for the record. Bambi said, I was really confused about that because I actually felt like I was going out of my way to um to make sure people accepted D. Smith into the group or whatever. I wanted her to feel comfortable. And I tried to hook her up with Tammy because I felt like she was new to Atlanta and I wanted to introduce her to some people and make her feel comfortable with her situation. You know, it's kind of a tough situation to be a transgender because a lot of people they don't necessarily know how to take that so I just wanted her to feel comfortable then I realized really quickly that she was just really messy the beef with me I didn't even realize she had beef with me until what aired in the episode my problem was I walked over into a section where she and Betty Idol were sitting and naturally I didn't feel comfortable because this girl because she had just gotten into a fight with my best friend I just mentioned out loud that I didn't feel comfortable and then she started throwing all types of shots and obviously I clapped back and that's where that went. I don't think with me it was never a beef. Damn Bambi really speaks this way? This is really hard to read. <sighs> he shouldn't have wrote it the way she said it. This should not be verbatim for the record. He should have fixed fixed this up a little bit. I'm not trying to clown Bambi either. I love me some Bambi but anyway see who <laughs> I never noticed she talked funny. Anyway, mm. Anyway it was just kind of like her being catty and trying to just be so extra for whatever reason maybe it's you know she her self-esteem issues or whatever but that's the only issue i had with her basically so damien goes on to say what did you think when d smith said quote we're the same you're a transgender woman what did you think of that wording bambi replied i thought she was talking to betty idol I thought she was saying her and Betty were the first transgender women on the show. Damn. <laughs> Betty Idol gets no respect. Damn. I don't even think that Betty looks like a tranny at all, Jesus. I think that that's cold-blooded, like Dave Chappelle would say. Dead wrong, Bambi. Dead wrong. Now I'm going to read to you the last question and answer. Damien said, when they were calling you an animal, is there anything you wish you had said in that moment? Bambi replied by saying, I really, I don't wish I would have said anything to them because neither one of them know me. I felt like I'm way finer than both of them. So they're just haters. Those are just things you have to go through when you're so fine. Pause this. Let me pause her response right there and say this. Bambi, you are that fine. Scrappy, high five brethren, fizz naive. Back to what she said. I really, I don't wish I would have said anything to them because neither one of them know me. I feel like I'm way finer than both of them. So they're just haters. Those are just things you have to go through when you're so fine. Just random girls hating for no reason. D. Smith, she wants to be a tall, beautiful woman, and I am that. And Betty Idol wants to be Scrappy's girlfriend, and I am that. So of course they're going to hate on me, end quote. First of all, Bambi is not little scrappy's girlfriend anymore he did what every smart man would do in his situation when you found the one and you found this beautiful woman that you get along with so well they they go 
listen, that's his right hand woman. So he put a ring on her, her left hand on that ring finger like he was supposed to. Once again, I salute Scrappy for that decision. Smart move. But anyways, but anyways, just because I'm happy for Bambi and Scrappy that they're engaged, just because I think that he's a smart man for making that move, just because I think that that's what he was supposed to do, just because I think that the whole transsexual thing is freaking hilarious. Now, I was offended when I first saw it because like I told you guys, I'm really against the whole calling black women transsexual thing. The thing that really woke me up to it, like the fact that I needed to not joke around like that, even if a, a woman pissed me off, was a combination of things. You know, it was actually people talking about how Jocelyn Hernandez is a tranny, which that's, of course, not true. And how Tommy Lee is a tranny, which, of course, is not true. And I thought about how people were in, and they're, of course, both on the same show. So what you're trying to say is a show full of trannies. <sighs> Anyways. Also, people saying that Michelle Obama was a tranny. That crap blew my mind. I used to say that Wendy Williams was a tranny, but I cut that crap out. I went and changed what I had to say about Wendy. I still don't like Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams still pisses me off. But However, I'm not going to sit around calling Wendy Williams, you know, uh, transsexual, transgender, any of that crap anymore because I, in fact, I apologize to Wendy Williams for what I said in the past. And it's funny because Scrappy had a little problem with her at one point. I made a video about that, ironically. But, you know, I, I just think that the whole calling black women trannies thing is just really gone too far. It's, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm over that. I'm not doing that anymore. But anyways, that's just the way that I feel about it. Bambi's no damn tranny. There's no damn tranny that looks like Bambi. Bambi's a beautiful woman, sexy body. She, She's a really nice looking lady. I, I wish that people would stop saying that about these women. Jocelyn. Very nice looking woman. Notice I didn't call her lady. <laughs> Tommy Lee. Very nice looking woman. Once again, I I, I, I mean, we got to get this out of our vocabulary. You know, even if somebody does look kind of tough and rough, you know, maybe we could find some other sort of way to word it. But I, not that I'm trying to police what people are saying. Like I said, I'm guilty of it myself. Saying about Wendy Williams, which I readily admit to. And I wish I would have never said that because the videos are already out there. The blogs are already out there. I'm not deleting shit. I know I said it. I know it was wrong and I'm owning up to it. It is what it is. Okay. But anyways, this is all my opinion. I don't think that beautiful women like Bambi should be shamed and called trannies. But that doesn't mean that you agree with me. Maybe you completely di emphatically disagree with me. But did you think that that scene was funny though when she got to the spat with D. Smith? I did chuckle. And part of the reason why I chuckled, I'm like, damn, but Bambi looks so good. Like, what the fuck? I was like, what? did that tranny really just call a woman a tranny? I was like, damn. That shit is funny as hell because it's like, what, aren't you a tranny? How are you going to call? I was a tranny. Anyways, man, it, it, it's like hearing a parrot call a person a parrot. It's, just, man, it's the pot calling the kettle black for sure. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Do you think it's cool to call women trannies and stuff like that you think that it's just really overdone let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com follow me on twitter at meat magazine and i apologize for the video being there near nine minutes long but i had to apologize to wendy williams and get that off my chest because i i'm, I'm done with the whole tranny thing it's not right meat magazine <laughs>